leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms, leaning, leaning, I'm leaning on the everlasting arms. Good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Today, we're going to look at the spiritual gift of himself. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 through 7 says, Therefore I exhort first of all that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life, in all godliness and reverence. For this is that good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between men, between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all, to be testified in due time, for which I was appointed a preacher and an apostle. I'm speaking the truth in Christ and not lying, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. God is having to do something in me. It's hard for me to pray for somebody that I don't like. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5 to love your enemies and to pray for those that use you and persecute you. Paul says here to pray for all men, for kings and all who are in authority. It's hard for me to pray for a president who I don't like or bosses who I don't like. But I know that I need to do it. Otherwise, how will they ever change? Jesus died to save whosoever believes. So that includes people that you don't like. People who are in government authority over you. Paul says that Jesus himself, Jesus gave himself a ransom for all. The Greek word translated ransom is antilutron. It's spelled A-N-T-I-L-Y-T-R-O-N, antilutron. This is the only time that this, this word is used in the New Testament. According to Thayer's Greek lexicon, it means what is given in exchange for another as the price of his redemption. So basically, we know what a ransom is. We know that a person is held captive and a certain amount of money has to be given for that person to be free. Jesus gave himself so that we might be free. We were dead in our sins and deserved to go to hell. But Jesus took our sins on him at the cross and paid the ransom for us. Praise the Lord. In Titus chapter 2 verses 11 through 14, Paul says, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men teaching us that, denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age, looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us, from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people zealous 
for good works. Again, we see that Jesus gave himself. He gave the gift of himself. What greater gift can we receive? In Galatians chapter 1 verses 3 through 5 it says, Grace to you and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil age according to the will of our God and Father to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Jesus said it himself in John chapter 15 verse 13 greater love hath no man than this than to lay down one's life for his friends we know what he said in John 3:16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that who whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life that's where we are Jesus has given the spiritual gift of himself so that we may have everlasting life that wraps it up for today tomorrow we will look at the gift of mercy be sure to click the red subscribe button below if you haven't already so you don't miss any of these lessons let us pray. Father God, we are so thankful, Lord, that you've given of yourself, that you gave your son Jesus so that we could have forgiveness of our sins. Lord God, that we can commit our lives to live for you. Lord God, and help us, Lord God, to pray for those in authority over us, Lord God, the President, the Vice President, Lord God, the members of Congress, Lord God. Lord God, pray for our governors, Lord God, our lieutenant governors, and our state legislatures. Lord God, help us to pray for them. Help us to want them to know you and to want them to do your will. Lord God, we just pray, Lord God, for them. Lord God, we lift them up. We say, Holy Spirit, speak to their hearts that they may vote according to your ways, your will, and your ways be done here on earth, in the Congress, in the state legislature, in the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you for this day that you've made. And Father, we pray for those who are sick, Lord God, the ones that need healing in their bodies. Lord God, I just pray for, for people who need to make decisions today, Lord God, and in the coming weeks, Lord God, that they would make decisions according to your will. Father God, just give people wisdom and knowledge as they seek you in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Hope y'all have a great day today. And uh, rejoice in the Lord always. Mm -hmm.